So uh, the project we did at South Puget Sound Community College was a collaborative joint effort between myself and the students to encourage indigenous awareness on campus. The indigenous photography method that I've been bringing to college campuses is an effort to encourage young journalists or budding artists to change their method or acknowledge an indigenous method and way of approaching and understanding the world we live in. In Western models, we are taught that the story belongs to us if we capture the story. In indigenous methods, the story never transfers from owner, it always belongs to the person that told it. And so we always acknowledge who taught us. The first part of the workshop was kind of getting to know the two local tribes in the area, the Squaxin tribe and the Nisqually tribe. And um, Matika invited tribal leaders from each tribe to come in and we got the opportunity to ask some questions about um, how they see themselves and their relationship with the land and how um, we could be allies to the indigenous you know, recognition movement. The creator was going to bring life down told all the spirits that we're going to bring life now. You guys are going to have to support it. We interviewed a few people. There was a Hanford and Don McLeod or Mac, and they were both, like, amazing. They were telling us stories of their people and telling us about the uh, fish wars and how hard that had hit. For me, I think learning about the history of the land that I live on was really important and learning about, you know, like landmarks that I recognize in Olympia, like the 4th Avenue Bridge, that that area was also a really significant spot for the indigenous people. That was really important. Knowing what Matika Wilbur's like message is to people, uh, getting the message out that the native people are still there. They're still there and thriving, and uh, they're not just like leathered up and feathered, uh, disappearing people. It, it makes me sort of feel like I, uh, I want to help get that word out. You know, Patika, she's indigenous and she grew up on a reservation, and clearly, like, is giving back to her community. So it made me think about ways that I can, you know, causes that I want to commit more time to and that I want to give back. I feel a lot of pride in it. Like, I've never once in my life accomplished something this big. Like, I've never accomplished something where so many people will pass by and see it and have such a profound message. It feels so great. It's so awesome to be part of that. Every time I make a point to walk by that building, every time, every time I see it, um, I just feel so proud of it. <laughs> um, it definitely, you know, was exhausted by the time it was finished, but um, it's so cool to see it up there. It was a really whirlwind of a process, but I think the experience dedicating that much time and energy and effort in, in that really fast-paced environment gave students a great experience to understand what it's really like to work as a muralist or as a photographer, as a social documentarian. It gave them that sort of hands-on experience that I was really hoping to, to create for them.